We sell a nutmeg for a dollar a piece. You can get three for two fifty. You don't need to mortgage the farm to, to acquire some nutmeg. Here at the Oaktown Spice Shop in Oakland, California, owner John Beaver and customers like Dave Wilson appreciate how valuable nutmeg once was. Nutmeg was worth more than its weight in gold. It was extremely expensive because it only came from such a tiny place. That tiny place was one of the Spice Islands in the Banda Sea in eastern Indonesia. Columbus was trying to find a shortcut to get there when he accidentally discovered the Americas. Back in the 15th century, it was the race for spice. And uh, all the European colonial powers were trying to find the origins of spice. The infamous Dutch East India Company, one of the first IPOs, was formed so the Dutch could monopolize the nutmeg trade. And they did for more than two centuries through a brutal and often genocidal domination of the local Bananese and a bloody colonial standoff with the British. The Dutch ultimately traded their rights to Manhattan Island, also known as New Amsterdam, to the British for their island of Bandaroon, the only place in the world where nutmeg was grown at the time. And colonies they have seized or retained from the other party. A play commemorating the bittersweet anniversary of that trade 350 years ago was performed both in New York and Indonesia this summer. Ron Jenkins, a professor at Wesleyan University, based it on his field research of the nutmeg trade. U.S. Ambassador to Indonesia, Joseph Donovan, a New Yorker himself, participated in the local celebrations in Banda last month, despite the fact the local Bananese had no say in the historic deal for control of their islands. After all, it was signed by the English and the Dutch in 1657. You know, uh, now I want to cancel all this agreement, you know. Okay. Des Alwi, the self-proclaimed king of Banda, was still dreaming big of unwinding the deal when I met him in the late 80s before he died. It took me three days and three flights to get to these legendary Spice Islands, whose time and place in history have long since been forgotten. The once rare nutmeg trees, with their bounty of fruit covered nuts that can be ground into spice, were eventually smuggled off the islands. Nutmeg is now grown in India, Africa, and the Caribbean. So here we have the nut, nutmeg. I'm going to crack it open. It's like a walnut. When you grate it, it reveals this really nice pattern on the inside. So it's uh, sweet and pung pungent with a little bit of like a, a musky quality to it. There's a lot of interest in nutmeg at the, the holidays. You find it in like mashed potatoes or you could find it in maybe spinach dishes the holidays, but also your pumpkin pie would have it or um, a little garnish on top of your eggnog. Spices were originally used for medicinal purposes as much as they were for cooking during the Middle Ages and Renaissance periods. It was the snake oil of the time. It was considered an aphrodisiac. It was considered um, a calmative. It was considered a purgative. Everything that you could imagine that was a bodily function, nutmeg was used for that. Smell that. If it can cure holiday indigestion and overindulgence, nutmeg might again be worth its weight in gold. For the PBS NewsHour, Mike Saray in Oakland, California.